Hey guys, it's me KSMR here, and today I'm going to be reading a Tsukushima K ex listener. Sorry for the amount of Tsukushima videos I'm posting, I just have a lot, a lot of um, stories for him, so it, it's more likely that I'll be posting him. And this one is titled Just Say Yes, and without further ado, let's get right on into the video. He wasn't sure about what had been happening within the year. Most of Kurosno's former volleyball players were either engaged or married. It had started with Tadashi and Yachi getting married before everyone had realized, two months after, Daichi and Michimiya were engaged. A month passed after Daichi's announcement, they had been caught, Sugawara and Kyoko locking lips together and having rings on both of their fingers. Apparently, the couple had eloped due to the pressure on both sides of their families. Talk about how surprising it is, coming from Sugawara, that boy was traditional as fuck. And it hadn't gone unnoticed by your stoic asshole of a boyfriend, Tsukushima, that every time someone would mention anything related to engagements or weddings, he would always perk up and actually join the conversation with the other girls in the room. Seeing you so into it made him think that you were thinking about taking your relationship to a more intimate sense. Marriage would always be the ultimate goal in every relationship, yet he knows that he is far too young to get married. Well, not really, but he was sure that he wasn't ready yet. And with Hugh starting to warm up to the idea of getting married, he actually dreaded it and had unknowingly placed a great pressure onto his shoulders. The final blow was during one of the weekend dinners that the team would often do on the third Saturday of the month after Daichi and the others graduated. All the boys were present with their significant others and were enjoying light joyous or were enjoying the light joyous atmosphere that surrounded them that night. Hugh hadn't left his side for the entire night much to his comfort, and you were being extra affectionate with him that night, leaving him overthinking about your about your intentions behind what you were doing. Halfway through the get-together, half an hour right after dinner, Hinata had suddenly knelt down on one knee and showed his ring to his significant other, asking her to let him be the happiest man alive, and tying her down with him through marriage. Everyone had their attention towards a couple except for Tsukushima, his eyes were on you, watching how you would react to the sudden occasion of the evening, seeing how your eyes softened and how your smile crept up a small and sweet one, placing- oh, sorry. How your smile- and your smile, small but sweet and full of unplaced longing. He knew by then that he had some deep thinking to do. 47 days later. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep collection for this. <sighs> Marry me, Wayan. You stared at Tsukushima like he had suddenly grown two horns on his head, blinking as you gave him a look of confusion, not believing what you had just heard from him. What brought on this thought? I... I beg your pardon? You asked, not even daring to move a step closer towards him. He looked up at you from the side of... from his side of the couch, the volleyball magazine left neglected on his lap. His face had stared at you with disbelief, clearly not wanting to repeat what he had said before. I do believe that you heard me right the first time, Wyan. Or, ooh, not the last name. Okay, sorry. <laughs> last name. He drawled out lazily and went back to pick up the magazine on his lap. But marriage? Are you serious? You looked, you asked with disbelief before collapsing down on the couch right beside him. He quirked an eyebrow, stealing a quick look towards your direction before going back to the magazine in his hand. Do you want to get married or not? He asked, slightly irked by- or slightly irked as his patience was wearing thin. Blood suddenly crept onto your cheeks, making you flustered at the side- or right in front of him. Well, yes, of course I do, but not now. I can deal with that. Tsukushima firmly nodded and slipped his hand into inside of his pockets to receive- to retrieve the ring and give it to you. Wear this then. You rolled your eyes and he took out the silver band with a medium rock and wore it. Most romantic proposal ever. You grumbled before grabbing the remote of the television as he changed it to the volleyball channel. He still said yes. Oh, shut up, Bakashima. <laughs> I can't even speak. Um, fuck yeah, I'm gonna marry you. The fuck? Are you insane? I would have, like, we did a little like double turn kind of move like where i was just like huh married huh? you, you want to get married to me me like i would have been like nah you're joking me right you're you're lying 
I could barely even say that. Like he just for real was just like, marry me, just out of nowhere. <laughs> I would have I would have thrown myself out of a window. In a good way though, of course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. And also click the video because it has something for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!